Eh mambo vipi? Poa. Unajua Kiswahili? Kidogo. Kidogo sana. So, can you introduce yourself? And um, where you are right now? I'm Elizabeth Justin and uh, right now I'm in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. You live in Tanzania? Yes. So now you are half Tanzanian. <laughs> I guess. That makes me half Tanzanian already. Uh, because you have been married to Tanzanian, yeah. so you are partly Tanzanian, yeah? So, how long have you been in Tanzania so far? Like five months. Five months? Yeah. But before that you have been knowing someone who is Tanzanian? Yeah, my husband. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you live before coming to Tanzania? In Geneva, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. So how many languages do you speak? Like, I would say just two fluently and then a little bit of French and a little bit of Spanish and uh, now I'm trying to improve my Swahili. Okay. Uh, what are the most difficult words or the things in Swahili which you haven't been able to distinguish or to capture them? In the language? Yeah. A lot actually because I've been so busy with the kids. Um, so as soon as they go to the kindergarten, I want to do a Swahili course okay. to get the basics. But before doing this interview, I we are just discussing and I said like one of the most difficult things for us is immigrant. I'm giving example like myself, live in America, married to America. Sometimes we might have planned to say, I will go back to live in my country. Mm -hmm. So you are married to Tanzania and I lived in Geneva for quite some time. And you say, okay, we are going to live in Tanzania. How was that difficult or easy, the decision to make to come to live in Tanzania? How was the decision? How, how, how yeah, the, decision? yeah, how did you make that decision I mean, like you, to come to live in Tanzania? I think for us for a long time, we were clear about coming to Tanzania for some time when the kids were still small. Yeah. So we were just waiting for that moment like, okay, let's just do it. Uh, so we just decided we sold all our things, or most of our things in Switzerland. And you moved to Tanzania. And then we came to Tanzania. What are the great things so far you have enjoyed in Tanzania? Ah, a lot. Um, I like, it, it gives us more freedom because we have a garden now and the kids can just run around. The kids are about barefoot a lot and just being outside, eating a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, um, getting to know the country slowly, that's been great. What about the traffic? Uh, that's another story. <laughs> the heat and the traffic and yeah. the hospitals, those are like some of the challenges here. <laughs> But when you get to use this, there will be no hurry in Africa and you will be African. <laughs> yeah, I hope. I think it, it will take me uh, some more time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about the kids with the language? Have they yeah, adopted they are, well? Or? Yeah, they are much quicker than me, of course. Um, Nakia has been speaking English to the father before coming here, even though he always spoke Kiswahili with him. Yeah. Uh, but now she switched into Kiswahili most of the time because she, she hears other kids speaking. So that's been really amazing. That's also one of the reasons we moved here. And Noah, the young one, he's two years, he's speaking Kiswahili even with me. Even wow. though I speak German to him. He's, he he's responding back to Swahili. Yeah, yeah, he's now only about Swahili. <laughs> okay. What are the most things uh, now? you miss about uh, not being in Tanzania like back in Switzerland, Switzerland or Germany. Germany. Yeah. My family, mostly, mostly my family and friends. And I guess um, the health system of course is quite good there so you can really relax like if you're sick you know you don't have to pay anything, you're gonna be yeah. taken care of. So that's a huge pri privilege we have over there. Um, yeah, driving a car is, is much more relaxed. <laughs> and I think the weather, I mean, it's been really difficult here, the heat. So I think I would prefer being in the cold right now. Yeah. But that's, 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 that's about it, I think. Uh, the food which you enjoy most, number one, like if someone says, I want to make you the best food in Tanzania, which one would you prefer? Wali Namboga. Okay. <laughs> I know you, you know, like not every woman knows how to cook. Some they cook, they know how to cook, but they don't enjoy 
Mm -hmm. For you, cooking is just not just like cooking. It's enjoyment. It's a hobby. It's, it's enjoyment. Yeah. So, did you learn that from family, or just you decided to just develop that hobby on your own? I think from very early on, when I was like 13, 14, I was starting to cook at home, and then I just continued developing that. And the, for the Tanzanian or African food in general, which food do you like to cook most? I mean, I had to learn how to cook ugali. I don't yeah. really like cooking it because it sometimes it still turns out to be not so great. <laughs> but it's okay. So I guess still, if you consider wali like rice, a Tanzanian food, then I prefer cooking De that. Depending on like if you make it with the coconut or you start making yeah. it with the uh, pilau, make all those kind of things, yes, it tends to be. Because most of the westernized rice is just more plain, I can simply yeah. say. Here you start adding some few stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you add maybe nazi or different things, different spices. And mm. then we make mchicha, cabbage, um, this kind of stuff aside. Okay. Yeah. And the, what things do you think that after, let's say, stay here five years to come, how would that be in your experience, food-wise, cooking, uh, adjusting to the culture? What do you plan in the next maybe five years? In the next five years. Um, just settling here. Just I think my aim mainly is just to get comfortable here with people talking to people on the streets, like just to be comfortable in the language mainly. Okay. And um, also I want to really would like to see the country because I haven't seen much of Tanzania. So just doing some road trips with my husband and the kids, getting to know Tanzania and maybe the neighboring countries. Yeah. I think that's. That's what I'm imagining and just settling here and just getting comfortable. Okay. Thank you so much for accepting to have fewer minutes with me, but you have done a lot of interviews with your husband already. <laughs> like in two hours, whatever. Yeah. So thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. What other words do you know? Just words, phrases to say goodbye to Tanzanians and appreciating them for hosting you well in Tanzania so far. Asante sana, kwaeri. Okay. And Mungu wa bariki. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it.